Hey. Every time, after I'm finishing a new typeface, I start working on a new one. This time, I came back to a typeface that was always in the background. A typeface that I want to include all my craziest ideas. A typeface that would be so unique that I had to take a few years to develop it. And today, I'm very proud to show you my new creation. Segol typeface. Check this out. Segol so Typeface is packed with so many exciting features you won't believe. It took so long not just to perfect everything, but also to make it easier for the users to use and create amazing typography. Segol so Typeface comes with super smart open type features that will help users customize the most exciting and unique typography ever have seen. And thank the smart open type features it takes just a few seconds to design the sketch that will blow your mind. So before we get started, get ready, grab some coffee and let me show you the most exciting typeface I ever designed and the one that you must have in your fonts library today. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Moshik Nadav. If you don't know me, I'm a typographer. I design fonts and logotypes mostly for fashion and luxury brands. If you want to see my work, you can go to my website. I'll leave the link below. Before we get started talking about the new Seagull typeface, I have a small request. Please make sure to like and subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos and tutorials like that one. I'm new to YouTube and feedback from you means a lot to me. Thank you. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator and before using Segol typeface, I recommend to open the glyphs and the open type windows. The glyphs window is located below the type menu and you can find the open type window below the window menu and then type and then open type. Now that both of the windows are open, we can get started. So the first thing that you can notice is that Segol typeface comes in two styles. Calligraphic and Dreamline. If you're familiar with my Lingerie XO typeface that also have Dreamline and Calligraphic styles, you should know that those styles are entirely different and not related to Lingerie XO. I designed it from scratch and the only related thing is the names. So in Segol typeface, you will find new swatches that no other typeface has. Now, if you look on the glyphs palette, you see almost 25,000 glyphs in one style. So in both of the styles, you'll have nearly 50,000 glyphs. And every glyph is generally a piece of art. Let's talk about the first feature that I think can be very useful when it comes to design typography for fashion and luxury brands. And this is the alternate glyphs. If you have one of my fonts, you know that I love giving you many, many options for each letter. And Segol typeface comes with so many unusual and unique glyphs that I'm sure you're gonna fall in love with. Let me show you some samples. So let's take, for example, the uppercase A. If you choose show alternate glyphs for current selection in the glyphs window, you can see that there are tons of alternates and swatches for the uppercase A. What do you think? Cool, huh? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now imagine that every alternate glyph will come with super cool swatches. You guessed right, it's all included in Segol typeface. Check this out.
Alright, now that you saw how playful Sego typeface could be, imagine how it is to customize type with it. Before we do that, a quick note. You see those ampersands and the black arrow symbols inside the glyphs window? Those are there to help you to navigate between the glyphs. It's like separators that allow you to identify groups of glyphs. For example, you'll find an ampersand separator between each of the main groups, like between A and B or C and D. And inside of each group, you'll find the arrow separators that will help you to navigate inside of each of the main groups. For example, look at the A group. Inside of it, you can see all the alternates and then the swatches for each alternate. Okay, let's show you what you can do with the swatches and the alternate glyphs. Let's take this uppercase A and then write A, D, O, R, and E. Adore. I'll take the A and add some nice swatch to it. Now let's take the O and do something like that. And now the R and do something like that. Sweet. Remember, there are endless of ways to write any word you like. Let's see more samples for the word that I've been choosing, Adore. You can keep customizing it all day long, but let me show you how to get cool variations automatically using the smart open type features. Before we do that, make sure to open the open type window. Now that we have a clean word, we can easily select any of the pairs of the letters and click on the contextual alternate button inside of the open type window. It will automatically generate the ligature for you. Let's select, for example, the A and the D letters and hit the contextual alternate button. Now, let's choose another pair. Let's say the R and the E. And again, hit the contextual alternate button. Now, it's not over. You can select other pairs and play with it. But let me show you an exclusive feature Segol Typeface comes with. And this is the alternate ligatures. It's there to make sure every ligature will fit to your needs. Check this out. So, how does it work? Exactly like the alternate glyphs, but here you are selecting the entire ligature. Let's for example choose the R and the E ligature and click on the right arrow down here. It will open a small window and show you the alternate for this specific ligature. Cool, huh? Let's browse around. Now that you've learned how to customize type, let me show you another cool feature Segol Typeface comes with. And this is the alternate numbers. Yes, alternate numbers. It's something that I always wanted to include in my fonts and I'm so happy that I finally did it. So let me show you what is alternate numbers and what you can do with it. You can do with it a lot. Come. Here we have all the basic numbers. To see the alternate numbers, we should do the same thing we did with the alternate glyphs. So let's select a number, let's say number 2. We go to the glyphs window and select the alternate number. To make it easier, let's choose alternate for current selection and see all the alternate the number 2 comes with. Now you can do the same thing with all the other numbers of course. Let's see how the alternates for number 7 looks like. or number 4. Okay, now that we understand the idea, let's see how pairs of numbers looks like. Make sure to select the contextual alternate button before typing any pair.
You can type any pair you like. Let's type, for example, 72 or 24. Now, the cool thing is that for every pair, there is a built-in alternate pair. Cool, huh? Now, let me show you how it works. While working on the ligatures for the pairs of numbers, I was thinking how cool it is to have ready-made glyphs to write using numbers. So it took a while, but it's done, and it's ready for you to use. Check this out. I covered the years from 1980 all the way to 2040, so you can use it in past and future events. To enjoy the custom years, type any year between 1980 to 2040 and click on the discretionary ligatures button inside the open type window. It will automatically generate the ready-made years for you. Pretty cool, no? Another cool feature that I wanted to include for many years in my other fonts and I just didn't have the time to do it is the ready-made names. You can find almost every name on the planet, but I guess that I missed a few names, but most of the names are there. Give it a try, I'm sure you're gonna like it. To use the ready-made names, all you need is to turn on the discretionary ligatures button and type any name we want. If you can't find your name there, it takes just a few seconds to customize it by yourself using the ligatures and the alternate glyphs. Same as the ready-made custom names, you can find many ready-made words, mostly related to fashion. The idea was to give fashion magazine editors a speedy way to write headlines on their covers and in their internal pages. Okay guys, I hope that you like the new Segol typeface, it's amazing and it's waiting for you on my website moshik.net. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. Go show some love and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and whatever. I'm like everywhere. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, take care, stay healthy, until the next one, peace.